What's up everybody? Nick Boost here with Twin Turbo. Shout out KM Tuned for sending me the, the, uh, the, the carbon fiber rear emblem. So I appreciate that. It was a birthday present and he hooked me up with this fuel door for a killer deal. Super happy with it. Today we're going to be doing a video on the carbon fiber fuel door install. Honestly, I was able to leave the camera running and actually capture some tips to show you how to pop it out of there. It's, it's not bad. Being a black stinger, I think it looks phenomenal. Certain angles, it is gloss carbon fiber. It's not matte like my emblem on the rear. I wanted the matte emblem on the rear to match all the matte black that I did around the car, all the carbon fiber, or all the black chrome is all matte blacked out. So yeah, so without further ado, I'm going to uh, run this clip showing you how to install it. And then I'm gonna have some important updates about the TCU tune, giveaways, and just some other stuff at the end. I'll catch you later. All right guys, so now I'm gonna be doing the gas cap. So we gotta remove this cap and then we're going to pry this up down here and just remove the door. Easier said than done. Just wish me luck, cause I break shit. Shout out to KDM Kurt. Sorry you broke your gas cap, but I'm hoping that doesn't happen to me. So on the other side of this little thing here, on this side, we gotta pinch it together and then this will pull out. So let's do that first. Yeah, you're gonna move it up like that, right? Then you can put the needle nose pliers, squeeze it together, and then that pops out. As you can see there, there's like a, a prong. Yes, you do gotta squeeze that together. However, in order to even get to this, so what you have to do is take this and twist it up like this. Then you can stick the needle nose pliers back there like this, squeeze it and it pops out. So it's super easy. This looks kind of like a pain in the ass to be honest with you. Seems like this clip right here is what would be holding something on. But they're saying that these right here, these are on some sort of track in there. So if we kind of stare at this this way, we can see more of about where it is. So directly up from my fingers here is where that's at. I need something flat. This is curved and it's not working. All right guys, real quick, I just want to try something here. If this feels like I'm gonna mess something up, I'll stop, but I got this uh, super long flathead and maybe that'll allow me to get back there better. And I'm just shoving it underneath there. Can you see that? Just shoving it straight down underneath that crack way back there. And it's kind of pushing it up, it looks like. Oh, I almost had it. See that? Oh, I think I had it off and then I just knocked it back on. I tried using the plastic pry tool that I use to get the clips off, but it just, it's too curved. But if you look down, like, I don't know if you can see in there. Kind of, that lifts it up. I don't know if you guys saw that. Let's see if it broke. Okay, I did it. Way back in there, I kind of scratched it a little, but I mean, no one's ever gonna see that. But. So let me try to explain this to you. Since you guys were actually able to see it live, you'll see an opening. I'd get a little flashlight. I'll link this one. This is a stream light. So basically guys, if you have one, I would get a long, thin flathead. And what you're gonna do, try to avoid doing that. You don't have to go back that far. I messed up earlier. To take this flathead and just shove it. This is so hard to cord so basically you're just you're gonna take your your flat head and you're just gonna shove it underneath there and then you're gonna see the bottom kind of lift up a little bit on the fuel door just keep doing it and then start to open it slowly and push down and that'll kick the bottom out that'll just kick that bottom out like right there now getting it back in <laughs> hopefully this lights helping you guys be able to see something I don't know but this should essentially are you kidding me there's no way it's that easy. There's no way. No freaking way it's that easy. <laughs> you gotta love it. Oh, basically, it's really not that bad, guys. I almost gave up, though. I'm not gonna lie. I was really overwhelmed. I was like, jeez. But uh, as you can see here, it's working good. It's really easy to get back in. Like, you don't even have to, like, troubleshoot it. Just kind of put it in there and move it around a little bit. 
and then you're good to go. Let me pop this fuel cap back on here, clean it up, and play. Oh my God. So that goes out the same way it comes in, like I showed you earlier. But when you wanna remove this, just remember, yeah, you're gonna move it up like that, right? Then you can put the needle nose pliers, squeeze it together, and then that pops out. And then when you wanna put it back in, make sure you face it down like that. And now it's flush in the back. Beautiful. And it's just an OEM piece, right? So, I mean, it's not like anything crazy here, but uh, honestly, like I was saying earlier, guys, I think carbon fiber and black go together super well. That's why I did this. This kind of blends in a lot better, as you can see. But I'm gonna clean this thing up. I'm gonna wipe her down. Let's just go on a cruise, man. Let's enjoy this nice weather and uh, be grateful to have such a beautiful car that does zero to 60 in 3.8. Hello. All right, guys, so yes, I'm gonna be working with Lozic on simplifying the order forms for the TCU tube. He's gonna send me some blank ones and explain me how to fill them out properly. I'm gonna make a video for him. Uh, I really hope this can help you guys out because I can't answer all these questions I'm getting about the TCU. I just need to make a video for all you guys to watch. I mean, I can answer some questions, but lately, with the views and subscribers going up naturally there's more questions and you guys have to remember man i'm a full-time mortgage underwriter is my career and you know i've got a fiance and a daughter and a dog and cars i got the whole you know everything you guys are doing you know i'm just busy right youtube takes a ton of time with just recording and editing so when it comes to comments and questions i try to answer as many as i can but it's impossible to get to them all tcu tune so when you apply the brake on this car being all-wheel drive it's pretty much rear wheel drive right another question i saw was eco comfort and sport yes the the tune is not just for sport mode it acts the most aggressive in sport mode but comfort mode, every mode's going to shift a little bit quicker. Now, it's not aggressive at all in comfort mode. I really don't, it's not like thump, thump, like on the gear shifting. Sport mode is really the only mode I really, really noticed it in, but uh, I'm gonna make some videos with some eco mode, comfort mode, and sport mode doing some launches. I'm also, this will be really cool, custom mode on the dash where we launch this thing 50 50 split i think it's really gonna dig i'll be able to probably add a little more boost that one i'm a little nervous on doing but i think we're gonna get some really crazy fast zero to 60 times as long as nothing breaks okay and giveaways real quick you know i love doing this i thank you guys so i, I wouldn't even be here recording or editing or nothing if it wasn't for you guys and the more subscri subscribers that we get the more bigger things I can give away. At 10K, we're gonna do a JB4, maybe even sooner, I don't know. We'll see how things go, how the views go. This summer, we got some cool content. I really wanna get out this footage of import face-off in Cars and Coffee. I'll do my best, man. There's a lot of copyright music in the background that I just can't play that I'm gonna have to turn into B-roll, but I met a lot of cool people last weekend. And I mean, it was a great time, man. There's people that were recognizing me and I didn't even have a twin turbo t-shirt on. And I do got tattoo sleeves. Maybe that's a giveaway, I don't know. But yeah, man, it's really cool. And I've been getting noticed around town and here and there once in a great while at the gas station that has E85. So, you know, it's pretty sick, man. I'm, I'm having a really good time doing all this. And I thank you guys so much. I really do. You guys are awesome. I'm going to just do it where it's like, we do one giveaway video, like always. We spin the wheel, random person will get selected. I'm gonna do a pool on YouTube. You guys you guys pick what prize you want to win first out of all three pools. You want to get the plugs out of the way first or last, whatever. You guys decide on that. The same rules applies you in order to be eligible. You have to like, comment, subscribe. Your odds are gonna be pretty high in winning. Three and probably what, 200 or whatever. I mean, that's, you're gonna, you have a good chance of winning something here. Yeah, more to come on that though. This isn't an official giveaway announcement video because maybe we can move it over to Instagram. I know a lot of you guys are on Instagram, but I have more subscribers on YouTube than Instagram. So I think it's only fair that we do it on YouTube. I'm probably gonna pause on making videos over the next week after I get these other videos out because I really got to buckle down on the drone license. It's just been raining and windy as hell and crappy here in the Midwest. Comment down below, what state are you guys in? What kind of weather are you getting right now? And uh, are you all wheel drive, rear wheel drive? Like, I'm just interested to know because this seems like the longest 
drawn out winner ever. Yeah, that's gonna do it for this video, guys. Again, thank you guys so much. We're gonna continue to troll Mishi and uh, just have a good time. And until the next video, I'll catch you later.